Sleepy Town is in danger, and members of the Chin Empire are attempting to take control of the region. Members of Sleepy Town have take off, taken off their pajamas and put on some of their military garbs and are now going out to defeat them in attempts to save the region. But also note, there are secret inhabitants in Sleepy Town attempting to lie in wait and gain control for themselves. Will you defeat the Chin Empire as the Sleepy Town inhabitants, or as the Chin Empire take control of the region, or will you, as a secret member, attempt to control after everyone else has been defeated? Find out in the game Cranky Chinchillas, a game for four to six players with bonuses for additional player content and expansions right now on Kickstarter. To start the game, select the number of players that are playing the game. I'll explain a four player variant, but if you wish to play five or six or have the expansions for seven or eight, check the table in the rules for further explanation. In the four player game, you're going to be playing with a Deceiver, the Forest Spirit, a member of Sleepy Town, and a member of the Chin Empire. Take these cards and shuffle them, and then deal one of them out to each player secretly so that only they will get to see their secret character and their alignment. Each of the alignments has a very specific task in order for them to win the game. Additionally, there's going to be a draft right after, and the draft is going to be based on the heroes and lives players are going to get. You'll take this big draft deck and you'll shuffle it up, and then you're going to go ahead and deal out two times the number of players. So in a four player game, you'll deal out eight cards face up on the field. These cards are cards that players are going to attempt to select in the game as they collect them for their lives. So the player who starts off will get to select one of them, and then the next player will go ahead and select one, and so on and so forth. However, instead of continuing to go around in the circle, you're going to actually move back counterclockwise after it gets to the last player. So the last player will get to choose two classes, and so on and so forth, until each player has received two lives and or heroes they'll be using throughout the game. Then additionally take the rest of the deck, shuffle it, and deal out two additional cards for each player so that every single player has four heroes slash lives for the game. Something like this is how the game is going to look in a four player game after every player has received their character cards or class cards they'll be utilizing. These are cards they can use once per turn by flipping them over, and additionally they are cards that will basically be a player's life total. If a player doesn't have any, they're removed from the game, and typically when players remove from the game, that's when you check to see if a victory condition has been met, because each of these guys has a unique victory condition we'll actually I'll explain after the setup. Any additional character cards probably won't be needed, so you can go ahead and set them aside. And then you're going to take the rest of the cards. There is the action deck, and then there is the question deck. Make sure that both decks are shuffled, and then deal out five of the action cards to each player in the game. These cards are going to be used by players during their turn to take actions. When you start your turn as the first player, and we'll just go ahead and select one player to be the first player in the game, that player is going to have the opportunity to gather and play cards down. And to be, now I'll explain that more later. However, for setup, that is basically all you're going to have to do. Each player will have four of these cards, one secret identity, and then five action cards. Place the other two decks right here and leave them and begin by selecting that first player. Okay, let's talk about how to play the game now. Okay, so setup is complete for the game. Now, how do you play? Well, first of all, the objective is to complete your goal on your secret roll card, and there are four roles. You have the Chin Empire, you have the Sleepy Town Dillagers, you have the Deceiver and the Forest Spirit. If you're playing as the Chen Empire, you want to defeat all of the other Sleepy Town residents, and vice versa for the Sleepy Town. If you're playing as the Deceiver, you want to eliminate all other players and be the last one left, or have every player only have one of these cards left in front of them, or zero cards. For the Forest character, you're attempting to gather five of these cards. Whenever you defeat them, you'll gain them, and if you ever get five at any point, you'll win the game. On your turn, which is meaning you're going to select a first player, you'll be able to play action cards. And you can play as many as you would like, except for cards that have a number in the top left hand corner. Cards will have different actions and you can choose one of them if there are more actions available on the cards. Typically the actions are going to involve attacking, allowing you to attack one player or another, and thusly they'll have to try and attempt to stop you from doing so with cards called clacks, which will prevent you from being able to do damage. You'll be able to accuse players as another specific single use action which will allow people to vote and attempt to remove two of a specific characters uh, characters in play. And of course, you're going to have a bunch of 
single use items that you can use multiple times on your turn. Things like CAC that prevent other players from using cards on you, or draw allowing you to gather more cards in your hand, and finally something like recycle which will allow you to gather cards from the discard pile and bring them back. Now of course like I said you can play any number of these cards as you want but only one of the ones that say one. Additionally, on your turn, you're able to use one of your character abilities. When you use them, you're going to have to flip them, provided you meet their requirements, and then enact the ability. Some will let you draw, others are going to let you defeat another opponent's character, and so on and so forth. When you have used all of the cards that you want, your single use or not, and then your single use character ability or not, then at the end of your turn, you will draw two cards with a maximum hand size of six. You don't want to ever go over that. And you'll pass your turn to the next player. Plass, pass your turn to the next player. The game will continue with the next player and so on and so forth up until one of the player's objectives have been met. When you're playing a larger player game, there will be more Chen Empire and Sleepy Town members, meaning that they'll have to work together to defeat one another. And of course, the other characters will have a more difficult time in order to enact their goals. Another thing to note too, like I said, if you're ever out of the game, you've lost all of your characters here, your hand size is going to be reduced to two and you're only gonna be able to play the cards that you get. And you're still trying to meet your goal. So if you're a Deceiver, for instance, or a Forest Spirit, you can still potentially win the game, but you are drastically reduced in that chance, and it makes it a lot more difficult for you. The final thing I wanna talk about in the explanation of the game is you'll have question cards. When you play an attack card, you can choose to not attack. You can actually choose to question an opponent. You'll play it on an opponent, then you're going to draw a card, look at the values, one and two, and then you're going to choose one of those values. So for instance, if I wanna know if player two has the Chen Empire secret faction, I will say two. I'll pass it to that player, and then I will say, are you two? They will just say, then say yes or no. If they say yes, they are. If they say no, they are not. The only exception to this rule is if you are a player playing as the deceiver, you are allowed to lie regardless of what question you're being asked. Otherwise though, the game will continue going in circles. Players will play cards, single use cards, single use abilities, attempting to remove these cards from the field of their opponents. And then every time a player has been removed from the game, they'll flip over their class and will check to see if victory conditions are met. The only exception to that rule is the Deceiver is allowed to flip over early, and if they do, they have some unique advantages, which you can check out on the Kickstarter campaign. Overall, though, that is the game, and that is how you play the game Cranky Chinchillas, a mix of a Take That style game and a secret player faction game. Are you up for the challenge? Take a look down below in the link in the description. But now, for my review. Or, for mine and Callie's review, because she is on the cover after all. So as promised, here's Callie for the review. I mean, she was on the cover, so I figured you'd probably want to see her in the video. Uh, although I could have done like a little bit of a twisty, turny thing where it was just me doing the full review and just Oh, that there. would be mean. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> so we're going to be reviewing the game Cranky Chinchillas, right? And the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that it is two games in one. That's kind of the first thing I thought of. Was it's kind of, kind of like a exploding kittens kind of a vibe where you're using action cards. It's kind of made for family. Uh, there are certain cards you can only use once. Other cards you can use more than once. Uh, they all have value. It's a lot of attacking back and forth. <laughs> a lot of cards that also let you dig through the graveyard, cards that will help you and potentially help your opponents uh, flipping over these cards here. And then of course you are also got a trader game or like a deduction based game where you're asking players questions based on what you think their role is. You're asking players um, how to work together. Sometimes you'll work with the four spirit or even the deceiver to try and meet your goals. Mm -hmm. And uh, some players need to know less about who's what and where as opposed to others but if you give yourself away it can be a negative thing as well in the game oh yeah you'll be a target right away <laughs> if you just start shooting everyone they know you're not on a team then <laughs> So there's a good amount of strategy in this game. Now there's of course luck as to what cards you get in your hand, but you're drawing quite a few cards every turn. You're gonna get at least two of them. You can always use your actions. You can flip those over with certain cards in the game. Now, there's one really special unique card in the game. It's like a one time per use like card that gets removed once you play it. I can't remember what it does, but it's like a superpower card. And uh, normally I'm not really great with those type of cards, but it is a one time kind of thing. And it's kind of like a little extra gamble. And for a kid's game, it works. Yeah, yeah, I don't think 
it seems like some of the cards are overpowered or not balanced, but I think that's part of the fun of the game and the party element too. Yeah, some cards are just definitely better than others, which mm -hmm. is is useful, uh, specifically if you're uh, some behind. Some of the heroes as yeah. well. And also, of course, because you can join up on teams with other players mm -hmm. as well. Oh yeah, definitely some of the heroes. I really, really like the Guardian. He protects you from being yeah. uh, attacked. He yeah. saves you, which is really, really nice. And that's a card I would draft easy. Uh, there's a draft too, which is also cool. I really like yeah. the draft aspect. So they kind of balanced it with half draft, half chain. So. <laughs> yeah, so you've got the draft, you've got the attack cards, you've got the secret abilities going on, and the way they use their abilities, what's also unique about this game too is there's no player elimination. You're still playing the mm -hmm. game even mm -hmm. after it's over and you can still achieve your goal. You're just kind of reduced to a lower value of cards in hand. That is an element I really liked for these types of games where it's player elimination and it's not really player elimination. Everyone's still playing and having fun and a good time. Yeah, especially when you have a larger player game. So this mm -hmm. does that very well. The artwork, super cute. I really, really like the artwork. I, I love all these type of like crazy chinchillas or wacky wombats or whatever, you know. Like they have yeah. this, this specifically that has really, really cute artwork. Really cute. They have character and they just had fun with the art, you can tell. <laughs> I, I don't know if they're going to keep the basic chinchilla I, card as a well, there's potato. Basic there one. is, there is. Okay. There's a normal okay. one here. But I do like the potato. Uh, and they are really useful when you have multiples of them. But if you only have one, it's no good. No. Two, it's good. And then I believe three, it's really good. Yeah, you can drop to two cards as an action on your turn and you don't have to flip it over either. And flipping these guys over is unique as well. Mm -hmm. uh, quality for production is, is great for the uh, game. I, I, you know, it's just basically a lot of cards here, which is really all you need. You have to have a decent amount of play space. And I think players who don't mind a little bit of randomness, a little bit of wacky fun and aggressive gameplay, um, all along with like a friend, family friendly theme are going to enjoy this game. If you're wanting to jump in on something like Resistance, but you have like a more younger audience or some people that are kind of just not ready to get into a game that is as deeply like complex as that one or as aggressive, yeah. this one's a little bit more uh, on the nose, I guess. Yeah. I like people who already liked exploding kittens and bullets and teeth and those types of games bullets and teeth will yeah. easily love this one yeah so this is a game i play on my live streams it's a game i'm going to be keeping because i will be playing it more and especially when i have younger kids over i think it plays what does it say on here it says um 14 and up you could probably play with a little bit younger too i imagine yeah yeah usually 14 and up is yeah guideline right yeah. <laughs> four to six players as well so you got a good range in there plus there can be two more players when you have the experience Oh, I don't know exactly yeah. how that's going to work yet, but I think it might be on the Kickstarter. I guess you'll have to find out. Uh, yeah, but overall, I really enjoy this game. I think it's a solid little game, and I think it has a very specific audience, and it's one of those games where I don't have to tell you whether or not you should pick it up. You'll just know if this is the right type of game for you based on the gameplay. Agreed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching the review of Cranky Chinchillas. This will be out on Kickstarter soon. Please check out the links down below. When the link is live, we'll post it there or we'll post some other links where you can find out more information in the meantime. And of course, while you're down there, to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe as well as the bell notification so you can get updates on all of the videos that we have coming out so many videos <laughs> can One watch day. reviews and playthroughs of all the games that are coming out i mean not all the games but a lot of games that are coming out uh, i think we get a lot of really good ones and i hope you'll check it out and of course check out our website unfiltergamer.com for more reviews that are blog reviews and other types of content on there and our live thank you patrons yes dollar a month goes a long way. We do appreciate it. That link will be in the description as well. That is. Thank That's you guys it. so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to being cranky with you next time. Definitely made me cranky. <laughs>he was licking my toes the whole time. <laughs> We're doing the review. Work, work. Is there any more cards?